June is a critical month in the life cycle of pheasants. Hens begin dropping eggs and hatching broods in the first few weeks of the month and continue until late June. In a best case scenario, warm temperatures and dry conditions would help nurture those chicks, but that did not happen this year. This year, uh, we see those spring thunderstorms coming through almost every other night there for a few weeks. And uh, they're very intense, a lot of rain, a short amount of time in, in a very uh, localized area. Cohn says location plays a big part in the success of the nesting effort. It all depends on where those hens are nesting. If they're up on the uplands and they're still in the incubation stage, chances are things are going to slide through and there'll be no problem. If they're nesting down in a gully or in a lower area, they're probably going to get washed out. Not all is lost, though, if a hen loses her nest. Cohn says if it occurs early enough in the nesting process, the hen will start over and try again. If she loses it during the first uh, week or so of incubation, or during the period when she's actually laying eggs, there's a really good chance she'll go back and re-nest again. Once the eggs are hatched, the hen takes great pains to protect those young chicks from the elements. So even though they get wet, that hen will do everything she can to brood that group of, of chicks and keep them dry. Cohn says there were plenty of hens and roosters that carried over from the last hunting season into the winter, and our mild temperatures over the winter help sustain those populations. So if all goes well during the nesting season, we can look forward to a decent year of pheasant hunting in North Dakota. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.